All right, mm -hmm. if we label what we have here, so if AE is 6 and BAC is 20 degrees, okay. any ideas on how we can approach this? Jim? Perfect, very efficient. All right, so if you understand that in a, a rectangle okay, or in any parallelogram, the diagonals bisect each other. So if you know that this is 6, then that means this other portion is 6. So this whole hypotenuse is 12, if we think of that. Okay, so now using this blackened triangle, we have an angle of 20 degrees. So what we need to do to find the area is we need to know its base and its height. Well, here's the base. And here's the height. So if we want to find the height, we have an angle, we have an opposite leg, and we know the hypotenuse. So opposite and hypotenuse is related by which trig ratio? Sine. So you know that the sine of 20 degrees is equal to opposite h over hypotenuse 12. Therefore, the height is given by this expression. So we can substitute that in for our h value. So 12 times the sine of 20. And do the same thing for the base, B. So in looking at the base, we have our given angle. We have an adjacent leg, an hypotenuse. So adjacent and hypotenuse represent which trig ratio? Cosine. So here the cosine of 20 is equal to B over 12, multiplied by 12. And here's our value we can substitute in for B. So 12 times the cosine of 20 degrees. And so now it's just a matter of multiplying those through. I don't have my calculator uh, pulled up here, but if you multiply these through, you'll get your area for that. 